G'day team, I'm back in Studio B. From Studio A to stu 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 Studio B. Studio line from L'Oreal, fixing your stronghold. If Anne Lederman watches this, she will know what I'm talking about, as will all the kids of the 80s. Stu 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 studio line from L'Oreal, fixing your stronghold. Uh, whatever's, um, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. Thoughtful Thursday. We had what happened Wednesday, and now we're having Thoughtful Thursday. There's going to be nothing thoughtful about it, god damn it. Alrighty, part A, every minute on the minute for 12 minutes, you have a minute one and a minute two. Minute one is 40 double unders or 30 seconds worth of practice into six to 10 handstand push-ups. Pick your scaling, cool? Double unders plus handstand push-ups, minute one. Minute two, it's a dumbbell hang snatch into a reverse lunge. 16 to, I've got 12, what have I got? 12 to 16 reps, and you'll split them down the middle. If I choose 12, I'm gonna do six on the right, six on the left. If I choose 16, I'm gonna do eight and eight, 14, seven to seven, you know what I'm saying. We're not gonna do 13, 15, or 11. You know why not? Can't chop it in two. So minute one, 40 double unders, 30 seconds of practice, plus six to 10 handstand push-ups. Minute two, 12 to 16 reps of a dumbbell hang snatch into a reverse lunge. Whoo! That's just the first half of today. Part B is two rounds for time, 50 dumbbell swings, 30 dumbbell rows from a plank, 50 dumbbell deadlifts, 30 dumbbell sit-ups. Once you've been through that twice, you then finish with 50 dumbbell hang squat cleans. He pauses for effect. Um, two rounds for time and then a finishing chunk, cool? This is our third version of these sorts of workouts this week. So hopefully you're starting to read into it a bit more. Um, let's have a look at the movements. Let's br br break it down. It'll make more s s sense, okay? Okay, I'm gonna work down the back in the skate park um, slash sled track. And definitely I've decided that when we get back, anytime we wanna do sleds, we're just gonna tear the mats up at the back of the gym. Why the fuck didn't we think of doing that before? Crazy, huh? The things you think about when you're in a fucking five months isolation period. Anyway, um, part A, every minute on the minute. Minute one, 40 double unders or 30 seconds for max reps or 30 seconds for practice, followed by six to 10 reps of your handstand push-up. Cool, know your scaling for your handstand push-up. Pick a challenging scale. We've done a lot of strict, so maybe keep it with strict if you wanna develop some strength. If you're developing the skill of the kip, then do a kip. If you're working on something else, you could kick up to the wall, you could do negatives, whatever you want to do. Figure out the best rep range for you. Don't be confined by what us coaches say, but do be confined by what us coaches say. You know what I'm saying? That's minute one. Minute, 12, minute two, you've got 12 to 16 reps of a dumbbell hang snatch to reverse lunge. There's one, two. If this was rep six of 12, bang, that's the halfway. And then change arms, hang snatch, into reverse lunge. This is not the first time we've done this movement during ISO. Um, you should be getting more familiar with it. Familiar, cool? That's part A, every minute on the minute, 12 minutes. Minute one, 40 double unders, 30 seconds of practice into handstand push-ups. Minute two, 12 to 16 reps of a dumbbell hang snatch into reverse lunge, split the reps evenly. Good. Now the shitty bit, part two. You have two rounds for time of 50 dumbbell swings. If you can swing, Overhead, double hander like you're holding a hammer, then do so. If I need to just go above eye level, then do that. Once you've done 50 reps, you've got 30 reps of a dumbbell row from a plank, and you're gonna alternate arms every five reps. Set up at the top of your plank. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Total of 30 reps. Once I've done 30 reps, get your mic cord out the way. And then you've got 50 dumbbell deadlifts. Once I've done my 50 dumbbell deadlifts, you're gonna do 30 dumbbell sit-ups. We're gonna to stick to our version with our dumbbell under our chin. Once I've done my 30 dumbbell sit-ups for one round, I go back to the top. 50 swings, 30 dumbbell rows, 50 deadlifts, 30 dumbbell sit-ups. Once I've done that twice, I take a really big breath and I start working through 50 reps of a dumbbell hang 
squat clean. There's one, two, and I can and only change every five reps. Cool, make sure we start anywhere from above the knee in the hang and make sure we pass through the bottom of a front squat. This is not the bottom, this is not the bottom, this is the bottom. Hip crease below parallel. There's some questionable numbers coming up on air squats, I won't lie. Some very quick times, I need to see, or I need to have faith that people are getting their booties down below their hip crease. Got it? I wanna see, I wanna, if I have to, I'll start asking videos. Whew, nasty, cool. So that's part B, two rounds per time. 50 dumbbell swings, 30 dumbbell rows from a plank, 50 dumbbell deadlifts, 30 dumbbell sit-ups, twice through. Once you've done the two rounds, you finish, and only once, of 50 dumbbell hang squat cleans, alternating your arms every five reps. That seems like a pretty thoughtful Thursday, doesn't it? Thoughtful. Think about it, think about it. Um, I'm planning a big games weekend this weekend again, because the weather's gonna be good. So there's gonna be a few little outdoorsy things, so be ready for that. Um, hope we're good, hope we're groovy. Are we taking our three to five breaths 10 times a day? Let's take some now. Falls. Um, all right, team. Stay groovy. Stay all the other stuff starting with G. Stay grapevine-ish. Stay loving. Stay empathetic. Talk to you later. Later. Leave you later.